Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy episode number 45. Let's start off right away by building some new ships. Now that I have the list up next to me. So a lot of comments reporting the number of German ships. Thank you to everyone who gave me that feedback. The number I had in my mind was 900. Uh, it just seems so insane. I, I have a lot of insecurity when I was looking at these numbers and thinking... Man, 300 seems like a lot. Now, uh, 1,100 is how many they built over the entire World War II. So, that, that, that I don't know how many they had operational at a time. And <clears throat> probably, I think somebody was commenting that they only had like 50 or less out on patrol at a time. So, um, 300 out on patrol at a time is it's a sizable number. So, anyway, let's get to the building. That's what I was going to do and then forgot immediately. Terrapin Maximus. Next one up is the Cleveland. Kind of more of a light cruiser name if you ask me, but that's okay. We have the Illinois, which... Do we have an Illinois? That's always, always the catch. Do we already have one? I don't think so. Illinois. No. And no Illinois sunk. Potent Terrapin. The potent... The Terrapin Maximus is re replacing her. <laughs> All right, let's build the Illinois. And the Guam, we're already severely negative. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. As I think I mentioned, we're gonna have these democracies finishing, so we'll make room for them. The Guam, that's kind of an interesting name. And the last one that I'll get in Okay, that's the last one we'll get in. The Wyoming Buffalo. I mean, here's the list. There it is. <clears throat> yep. Did I already do the Portland? Oh. Yeah, I gave her a class. Good. Well, then you're done. Don't need that anymore. Okay, good. So, um, let's proceed. Red Twilight. Only the Navy can win this war. I'm sorry, I need the money. Ah, interesting. Our scientists report they have hit a dead end in their efforts to figure out the concept of Torpedo Protection 1. <laughs> Considering we have Torpedo Protection 4, that is certainly an interesting comment. Or team to 3. 18 to 4. They are outdoing us, and people are recommending that I build more minesweepers and build more submarines. I don't really care about building more submarines. We don't really need to force the Germans to collapse. Any victory is going to be the end of the series anyway. So, um, yeah. By the way, if you're worried about this series coming to a close, well, I mean, we're coming closer to the Rule of the Waves too. I'm probably going to try to squeeze in one more series before that, but I might instead do some, like, feedback on... Rule the Waves 2, it's development. I might just do some, you know, videos every now and then. That's what I had in mind to do. I have absolutely no idea what sea zone this is in. The Decatur, uh, the Decatur, sorry. I, I always pronounce this Decatur. You have to understand that comes from the fact that this, it, like the American pronunciation would be Decatur. That's, you gotta almost say it with a southern drawl, Decatur. Uh, anyway, the, if you were to pronounce this in any European language or in Europe, the accent would be decatur. I'm just I'm not trying to make it elegant. I'm just most of the time, oh, is this Guam? No. I don't know Bismarck Islands? Huh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Wait, what's our objective? Is this just a... I forgot. <laughs> I totally lost track of what I was trying to do. Let's just hope this is uh, an engagement I can win. Okay, it looks that, that looks promising. Let's see if we can track them down in time. Oh, we do have our lighter ships on this one. I mean, our 8-inch uh, guns. Let's go ahead and cut across their bow. They're definitely in the aggressive torpedo launch mode, I can tell. The way they were going line abreast. Let's continue to pursue them. Oh, that's the one. That's what I have to say. That's a hell of a hit. 
All right, well, Decatur will track her down. This is going to be a loss. And now they can safely return to port. I mean, absolutely have done the right thing. Uh, survived. That's the one thing that we obviously didn't want to happen. And when it doesn't look like we're going to be able to chase down her sister ship. I'm going to stay nose on so that we don't take another torpedo in. Alright, good. I think we're going to be able to get both of them. Okay, come on, do your duty. Yeah, I know. She was doomed. Doomed. As soon as that torpedo struck, I just wrote her off. I mean, these are, by the way, ships from <laughs> 1900, 1899, officially. Yeah, we're definitely still in range. Finish her off. Do not let her escape. She's on fire, looks like. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine she's going to make it back, but she's so close to port, we don't want to... Not that it really matters. The points have lost. This is going to be a defeat no matter what. So, speed up to fast. I think that's a dead ship. Okay, good. They did... So, in, if I translate that out of Tortuguese, that is my bewilderment at the fact that this ship <laughs> somehow didn't sink. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Whatever game, you, you win this round. But I'm not going to show any mercy. Ah, got a, quite a few bad things happening in a row here. Oh, wow, that's... Yeah, so we want to keep doing these. I will keep accepting. Now that we don't have light cruisers, bring my battle cruisers. Thank you. Ah, finally. Revenge. Revenge will be mine. And it'll all be in the name... Oh, my God. Oh, this is, must be a convoy. It is. Well, I think right away we just get everyone into uh, battle formations. Oh my god, it's the invasion class. We're going to send these off to the nearest port, which looks like it's north. Just go away. Do not fight. Actually, you know what? We can have them form up and make a run at the... At the convoy ships. Yeah. Because we... Oh, you guys need to speed up, by the way. Okay, a battle cruiser. Wow, that's. You no, know, the Decatur's seen some stuff in her day. <laughs> Survives her sister ship sinking. Oh, God, she's going down basically immediately. Victoria Luis, 13 inch guns. Perfect for pouncing on our poor innocent, unfortunately now dead, Decatur. There she is. Well, we're going after her. You better believe it. I don't think this ship with 13-inch guns probably doesn't have the speed. It does not to escape. We'll definitely go after her. And we're going to have the Amelia Earhart come in for support. That's what she's there for. Fighting them off. Now, we are losing her a little bit. Let's have you just go through their ships. Amelia Earhart just Whomped on one of their destroyers. That's good Good to see. Okay. Proceed this way. Now, believe it or not, I mean, our destroyers cannot even fight off... Four of them probably cannot even fight off one of the enemy destroyers. So we have to be quite careful. Are we still firing? Yeah, we are firing at the battle cruiser. I don't know if we've hit her yet. Um, let's just take a peek. Yeah, we did hit her twice with some 14-inch guns. Another time. So we've hit her a few times. Uh, a few more times. 
Yeah, we've, okay, we've taken a few swipes. Maybe she's a little bit slower than her normal maximum speed. Very suspicious little torpedo run I think that was. But we're actually able to engage um, even while we're chasing here. I think we're able to get good effect out of our weapons. Really, Earhart, we actually need you to go save the invader classes. All right, the Decatur, <laughs> the last of the crew who survived the other battle are now, oh, oh my. Well, this is gonna be a, a field day for our battle cruisers. And now we really need the Amelia Earhart to do some really good work. All right, so we're gonna have to switch targets very soon here. I'm assuming she's a goner and we have to switch. Yeah, she has like every turret in her broken. So do not any longer fire at that ship. Okay, good. Launch torpedoes, fire at will. Let's actually see if we can launch a torpedo here. You can. Good. Whoa, God, it was loud. <laughs> Let me adjust my, not for you, but for me. Let me adjust my in-game volume. Okay, good. So this is quite, and I saw another ship over here, which I didn't pay enough attention to, probably. Oh my, okay. Well, Amelia Earhart, we need you over here. We need your torpedoes. In fact, don't launch any tor- You already launched three, damn. Don't launch any more torpedoes. Okay, we're taking some hits. The Hornet is in dire trouble. Oh, that's the Hornet that's just mauled. Okay, we're going to break her off. But it's not too late. Oh, we can't attach her? There. Yes. But not really. <laughs> we're still going to do with her as we will, but we're just going to let her pull off for a moment here. Um, Amelia Earhart, yes. Steam, full speed, north. Palatka, you are it. You're the one. You're the chosen one. Bring my ships back alive. Okay, don't... Okay. Oh, yeah, it is Victoria Louise class we are firing at. Yep, that's correct. So we sank one already, I'm guessing. 27 knots, she's actually not sunk. Well, Amelia Earhart, that's what you're here for. Actually, do you guys have... You have no torpedoes. Okay, well... One pass through and then get the hell out of here. You have no torpedoes, okay? Same thing. One pass through and then get the hell out. Of, get the hell out of here. <clears throat> okay, good. So we're hitting the correct one. Yes, we are. Okay, good, 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 good. Things are looking up. So long as the Hornet can survive, and she is now, the Placa's taking her share of damage, <clears throat> which is good. We want them to each absorb a little bit. Now the Mackinson is actually a pretty weak battlecruiser, and we really ought to be taking advantage of the fact that we have super firing in this ship, the Mackinson doesn't, and the Victoria Louise is pretty much dead. Yeah, we're going to charge them straight on. Because one, uh, we are going to, we'll, we'll only be shooting with half of our guns, but if we can force them away, we'll either be closing the gap, or if we're forcing them away, then by the way, Hornet, why don't you go after the Victoria Louise? If we're forcing them away, then they're only going to be using a very few number of their guns. So we're firing six, they're firing, well, it says seven, because how does that work? Huh. Not exactly sure. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> well, goes around, comes around, I guess. Uh, that's not the uh, expected ending to this battle. This has just gone from bad to worse. We're not going to give up on this one, but I have to say that this is like a just a nightmare scenario. Oh my gosh, that is a nightmare. Okay, let's get these ships out of here. Tucker's going to stay around and just finish off whatever ships he can. But you're just going to make your way back that way. 
Uh, Amelia Earhart, are you in position to launch these torpedoes? No. No, because we're on the wrong side. Damn it. I guess we can pursue. I, yeah, I really don't know what the best thing to do here is. Heavy damage, she's on fire. The game would not allow that ship to get out of here, right? We have destroyed four, sorry, three of her five turrets. We gotta pursue her. Amelia Earhart, break off, pursue the, what I presume is the sinking Victoria Louise. Yeah, get out of here quick. Oh God, the tort, they, they're just, they're ripping into me. In fact, we only have our chase guns left, so. Chase away. Look, invaders, just go ahead and head this way. Exit stage left. Okay, so let's go after this one, make sure she's a goner. And we'll see what happens with the other ones. Another defeat. This will be another defeat, unfortunately. Yeah, go ahead and do this. Sounds like a noble enough plan. I think that they're basically all sinking, right? Maybe not. I mean, the transport ships don't matter much. Let's just forget about them. Um, you have torpedoes on the starboard side. Whoops, wrong side. Let's get that way then. Start raining hell, Mr. Hornet. Not with your five inch guns, if you don't mind. All right, it's dead yet? Yes, she's dead, Jim. She just hold fire in general, and Hornet hold fire in general. I'm still interested in those battle cruisers. I think we can still take them. It's kind of a crazy plan, but if we can get them to pursue us, we are in good shape. Seems a little bit dangerous. Let's find out where they are. Pursue this one. Okay, yeah, actually, Tucker, as soon as you're done, it's who I want you to go after, believe it or not. Um, what? Okay, they're over here. It's not, not your day, Mr. Tucker. I highly suggest you flee, get the hell out of here, <laughs> maximum speed. Yeah, we want this is what we want, we want these guys. Where the heck are they going? There's no base for them down there. Well, we'll pursue anyway, and you know what, might as well bring the Amelia Earhart with us. Okay, that's interesting, so they're turning now. Oh yeah, we wanted to kill that destroyer, believe it or not. Okay. Here we go. A bit crazy. Who? Who's launching torpedoes? Oh, I didn't specifically tell you not to launch torpedoes. Okay, well, uh, well, she's a goner now that she already was. Thanks, Hornet. For nothing. I don't know if this could have been used uh, for any better effect, but probably yes. Damn it, did we lose this ship after all? Just come over here and finish these off, Amelia. Until I can figure out where these battle cruisers are. Aha! Okay, now go ahead and remove your restrictions. Target this unidentified ship, which you cannot do yet. Oh yeah, and uh, begin to move away. Yes, you're definitely gonna be attacking, well, 
one of the battle cruisers. Probably the closer one. Wait, no, 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 no. Whoops. That one, yeah. But actually, can I tell you which one to target specifically? The one that's closer would be nice. Yes. And now, start fleeing. You still have three torpedoes. Okay, all right. We can do this. All right, so we just need to be smart. Use our five rear guns. I don't know how that works. It's more than five, but I'm just going to drift away, and it should be a huge advantage for us in terms of guns per volley, except for somehow it's not. That's not how it's supposed to go at all. This was a, supposed to be a brilliant plan. Oh my gosh. Like, are you even firing your rear guns? You, uh, yeah, it's just, this is perfect. The front ones are gone, we fire the rear. They're super firing, it's perfect. It's a foolproof plan. And they can only fire one, one. They only have two turrets. It's the same number of turrets. I have more accuracy, supposedly, from higher caliber, longer range. We're getting the Amelia Earhart here just as soon as she can to hopefully save this now what seems like a very ill-conceived idea you know what go ahead and drive right at me Mackinson see how that works for you okay good looks like we're gonna get this away all right so we know what we're gonna do now which definitely definitely just gotta call it a day Call it a failed plan. Call this a terrible episode. I mean, I'm not happy about it, at least. Got to take the good along with the bad. I mean, the bad along with the good. And I think as far as flash fires go, I mean, it's expected against the British that you get. Uh, that they have a lot of flash fires. But, you know, we, we had some good times. In terms of not... By the way, please tell me you're not sinking. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. saw you I saw you yeah I mean this is not these are troubled times for the Hornet what's worse is she has to go back home and explain how we lost the Palatka to a flash fire just wildly inappropriate to lose our ship to just a flash fire after all those flash fires you would assume that we know better kind of playing chicken with these guys now oh, what are you what the hell are you doing what the good lord holy good gracious oh my gosh oh my goodness I cannot believe what ah. so I'd never hit yes to all to pick up survivors apparently it's a terrible idea okay well uh, major victory, no surprise there. We lost a battle cruiser, we lost a light cruiser, they lost four destroyers in a battle cruiser. I mean, and if you look at it, it doesn't look that terrible. We know, though, that that's a bigger blow against us. No, I do not want to remember this. Okay, so let's go ahead and build some minesweepers. That's, what, that's how I console myself. Some people have, like, comfort food. I have comfort minesweeper building. Ah, boy, that's not amazing. Not amazing how that all worked out. What's worse is this invasion is not going well. Like, presumably they can just easily defeat us. That's the Caroline Islands, okay. Well, actually it was here, right? So that's, I still know, is that Micronesia? I have no idea. No idea. Um, anyway, okay, so let's move on with everything. I mean, I'm, it's a frustrating time to be in the U.S. Navy. We we feel we're superior. I certainly feel I'm superior to the German ship design, to the German AI admirals. And yet we're going even, or some people would even say we're losing. I mean, the ships that we're losing, I, honestly, if you were if you were like just part of the public, even 
somebody in the part of the public who knew a lot about warships or the navy you'd probably still think okay battlecruiser for battlecruiser yeah ours was a little better but and we mourned the loss of the Palatka, but we did at least come away with one of theirs and four of their destroyers well, i mean it's not a good exchange but Ah, what do we have to do? I think we maybe have to send big ships over to Southeast Asia. They're um, they're making this a real theater. And as they're not making... Well, they have a Dreadnought here. That's... Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, so we, we are going to have to push something out. Southeast Asia. We have Ticonderogas, which are now... You guys are... You're gone. I'm sending three Ticonderogas to move... Not through, not through Europe, so we're going to force them to go to the West Coast and then to the Southeast Asia. We'll keep three available for the Caribbean. Oops. So three and three. And if they're at the Caribbean, they're actually one space, one sea zone closer to Southeast Asia if I need to redeploy them there. Which is something I have to consider. And, okay, yeah, we need all the lightnings the west coast oh wait you guys are already at the west coast then to southeast asia and we'll replace those with i guess the ticonderogas honestly <laughs> we're running out of ships i don't think we need well i guess we with the battle cruiser what no the battle cruisers we have are the Yosemites. These are still the top of the line until the Terrapin Maximus comes out, which is still a ways off. Ugh. Okay, well, let's see what... Uh, I, this episode almost has to come to a close already, but... Constitution, which is Ticonderoga. Great. Five months. Okay, six and five, or twelve and five. All right, that's one good news. Uh, we're gonna decline that. I'm not gonna fight a dreadnought with a light cruiser. No, thank you. Okay, well, let's look at the point situation. I think the point situation is still what is mostly telling with these, and it's ninety-three to seven, so that's good. Yeah, and if we fail this invasion, I'm sure we'll just launch another one soon. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, six and two, ten and four. All right, except again, we have bigger ships, better ships, and they give us these light cruisers. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on. I mean, we may be fighting another group of destroyers, in which case I'll just be much more diligent about my uh, torpedo avoidance protocol. Fortunately, this might be... Oh, no, yeah, they're, they're destroyers, so... Let's just give them the old broadside. No, actually, let's give them the nose on. So that we don't suffer any wayward torpedoes. Just trying to make sure that there's never a uh, good firing solution for them. Okay, chase a little bit more now. We're definitely catching one of them. So close. Ah, oh, that's good, that's good. That's good damage. Let's come be very careful here. Okay, so far so good. No, watch out for those torpedo potential torpedo launches. I think we played this a lot safer, and we're getting the result because of it, the correct result. All right, there we go. Okay, that was a little bit better. Small recovery, a small 
bit of revenge, a little dose of revenge there. Okay, our fighting to capture, we're still fighting there, okay. But I think things have gone better. First of all, we just won that engagement, thankfully. I don't know how much that makes up for the last few losses, but it's something to work with. Um, on top of that, we have the huge point swing, 123 to 6 here. So, maybe those two things will add up to something. Yes, in fact they do. Aha, uh -huh. well, we don't care. The offensives almost never go our way, so just don't call off all the offensives. Let the Navy do everything, please. 7 to 1, that's a good ratio. 12 to 9. Oh, it's bad for them, so that's good for us. Okay. Enemy coastal raid. Well, I want to accept this. It could be two destroyers. Just please don't give me... What? Destroyers. Please don't... They gave me good stuff. Okay, good. <gasps> oh, darn it. I was really hoping we were going to get the democracy class. That's a bummer. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Yosemite is a great ship, but... Is a ship that we know quite well, very familiar with in battle, and it's always fun to. I don't. They probably can't be there. This is gonna be a tough one because we have. Like, where can they even come from? Oh. Okay. I guess right here. All right. Then what do we have? Aha. Some good destroyers with us. That's fantastic to see. And the Chickamauga, which is a... Great Lakes. Ah, yes. Very good. So this is quite a battle. Uh, I'm extremely happy with the ships. Well, the ships which are just going to go suicide themselves because... It's going to be nighttime. Very, very, very soon. Now our battle cruisers, the Yosemites, I think they have... Torpedo Protection 4. We can be a little risky with them. We're going to follow the attack in, but only after our torpedoes have rained death and destruction upon the enemy. And I hope a lot of it. Okay, we're firing at them. We'll soon see them again. Come on, form up. We're going to pull the Yosemites back slightly. This is a nice net. Aha, perfect. We got them right where we want them. Maybe. <laughs> so either that or they have us exactly where they want us. All right, let's do it. Fire everything. Just really honestly, I know I quote that Star Trek movie a lot because I really like that line. Said with such gusto, such passion. Anyway, I really do want you to fire everything. Every torpedo you can, preferably. Out of arc. Well, let's make sure we try to change that. And you, please don't tell me there's an enemy sh or friendly ship in the way. There is not. Good. Even though, my god, that is like the definition of a friendly ship being in the way, but pay no mind to that. Oh my gosh, two. Okay, next up, Perkins. All right, Perkins. Give them hell. Revenge! Remember the Palatka! <laughs> you can hear the cries going down from the crew. Alright, Chickamauga. As there are more torpedoes to be launched, you shall be launching more torpedoes. Huh. Expended. That's not what I wanted to see. Perry is sinking. Okay, well, that's okay, Perry. Damn it. It's not. It's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Please... Don't die, because we actually want you to launch more torpedoes, but okay, fine. Let's get you to launch. Aha! That's pretty scary. Be launching basically right at ourselves. <laughs> okay, so let's get the next one. What? No! No! I mean, it is true that Chickamauga is not in a great position, but... Oh, yes. Yes! What is this rune class? It is a 40,000 ton ship! Fantastic! 
Couldn't have picked a better one to start swinging at. Benham, please, launch those torpedoes. Yes, absolutely. What? What the hell kind of... Oh, okay. God, I had the wrong ship selected. She... No, I definitely like this alternative better. Good. Dodging our own torpedoes now, but that's destroyers. They're going to be fine. Okay, good. And let's bring in the battle cruisers now that we've done a fair amount of damage. We can switch back over. We were launching starboard here. We can launch the port side for the Chickamauga. I mean, it was suicidal for the Germans to come all the way up into this area anyways. I don't know what this inlet is called, but... Newfoundland? Newfoundland? Ah, they shouldn't be here, is the point. Perry, how are you doing? Can you launch torpedoes? You still can? Well, by all means. Yes. Oh man, it's just carnage. I love it. Almost time for our ships to come in. Oh man, they did a darling of a job of avoiding a lot of those torpedoes, which I'm not happy about. I have to tip my hat. They did well, but of course I'd rather that they'd all be hit. Now Chickamauga is going to be able to come in and do some damage here, I think. Ah, she's already starting to warm them up. Let's get that prepare to launch. Probably this is a situation where, yeah, I was going to say it's probably appropriate that they don't allow me to launch torpedoes here, but we'll go ahead and do it. This is my normal tactic, just fill up on early torpedoes and then let the battle cruisers come in and finish off any ship that's still, okay, we got another one. Oh, we got plenty. And the Chickamauga, oh my god, I wasn't paying enough attention to you, and I think you're a goner. Okay, let's do deploy smoke. You have no torpedoes left, but you are going to make them pay. Oh, yes. Okay, Chickamauga is the next battle hero. Now, if we can, I'd like to just go right to port with all of you. All of you go to port. Now, you're sinking, so you can't, but that's fine. The rest just go cruise speed, cruise on home. In fact, who is in the worst shape here? Balch, are you... No, no flooding, so you'll make it no problem. Now, Perkins, do you have any torpedoes? You do have plenty, in fact. Benham, you have... Not so many. So what we're going to try to do is detach... Definitely going to detach the Balch. Send her right home. Uh, but let's get the Benham and the Perkins to pull off. And in comes our battle cruisers. Just in time. Just in time to... Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have here. What exactly does this rune class look like? Wait, can you launch torpedoes? Oh, you don't have any. Okay. So, 12 16-inch guns. That's... I mean, we're talking about... What is my latest class? Was it the Tycho that has the 16-inch guns? The Democracy has... The Democracy has the 18-inch guns, right? I don't know, but 16-inch guns and 12 of them, this is a formidable opponent. I'm just happy with... We should be able to sink her, though. Okay, let's... Good, we're getting them. Yeah, things are working out well. We can even launch our torpedoes at the first one. Just sink them earlier is better. Don't delay. Don't hold on to torpedoes. Eliminate the opposition as quickly as possible, and then we can we can go from there. Even if it's a little bit of overkill, it just means I don't have to think about those ships anymore, and that's a good thing in my opinion. So, wow, that's <laughs> these battle cruisers have been refit with a lot of torpedoes. I forgot about that. So port side we have plenty left, which means we'll swing around the rune on. Put her on our left-hand side if we can. Oh, yeah, finally. Payback. Remember the Platica. Remember the Platica, the cry. We have to remember our battle cry here. Hit by one torpedo. 
That's okay, we can handle that. We are close to port. They'll allow me to select the ship. Thank you. Um, not even that bad. I would say that we might even pursue. Let's get the St. Louis to pull off and have the Lexington pursue first. My god. This is extremely strange. Okay, we have two other uh, separate. Benham, pull away. Go home, Benham. Perkins, we're gonna need you, Perkins. It's like a collision course. I think that they're gonna turn north. We do actually need to take out this annoying destroyer. Okay, well, there's no time like the present to get rid of these port side torpedoes. So let's do it. Remember the Palatka. Out of arc. One more turn. Should have her. Remember the Palatka. Got her. Ha ha ha! And Perkins is sweeping in. The rallying cry. I don't even need to say it at this point. But I will anyways for gusto. Remember the Palatka. Let's get him. Dead stopped in the water. Going down. Three knots. She's a goner. Now, remember the Chickamauga, we can also say, because <laughs> she's put in her time. She's done her heroic effort. So let's go ahead and go back to the other ship. Oh, she's already gone. That's it. That's a wrap. Bring the troops home. Okay, Perkins, you're going to stay out and you're going to start collecting crew. As soon as the Chickamauga... We should just scuttle the Chickamauga. Oh, oh my, and look who's coming out of nowhere, riding in to secure victory, and that's it. <laughs> How? It sank! Oh, wait, how did Chickamauga sink? Uh, okay, I was like, going to be upset, but no, the Chickamauga was already sinking. While she was withdrawing, she hit a mine. <laughs> <laughs> very, very strange. So, let's take a look at the damage here. None of our battle cruisers. None of them were sunk, but we did have one with medium damage. So we had the rune, which... 40,000. What was the other one? I was just a Victoria Louise class. Well, I mean, that's true payback. Really, I'm sure we overkilled this one. Three torpedo hits. What was the other one? Oh, five. Five on the rune. I'd like to know what her torpedo defense is. I don't think we'll be able to without opening up the, the file itself. But, well, let's just savor this victory. It was a, I mean, this was a rough early episode. I was getting a little concerned, you know, if the war ends, if the diplomats just resolve things when you're negative in the uh, total points department. It's not a good thing. Remember the Palatka. The next one can be Remember the Chickamauga. All right, well, that's going to conclude this episode. 40 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun coming back and kind of restoring the balance, actually getting way ahead. Two battle cruisers for none. It's, a, it's obviously a huge victory. I'm not sure what the mines were doing up in that little area. Uh, it's not like the Germans have any colonies nearby like the British did that would make it even somewhat reasonable it could happen, but that's okay. Maybe, I mean, if I want to make a story out of it, if I need to invent some reason, I would say the Germans and the British are actually somewhat collaborating behind the scenes. Similar to the way, you know, like in the Revolutionary War, the French were really pro-American without being officially at war. Were they officially at war with the British at the time? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just putting a lot of pressure, right? Anyway, uh, it's just one of those things. It's like the Vietnam War type thing, where the Russians didn't officially go to war with the U.S., but they were feeding the North Vietnamese, the Viet Cong. So, okay, but let's end on the happy note. We did it. We, we avenged the Palatka. That's uh, certainly going to be the title of this episode. And we have the Chickamauga to avenge. Maybe we have a Northern Europe invasion to mount. I mean, I think that we're gathering the necessary materials here. Nah, I thought, yeah, it is. Okay, so the tech, 
the, the Tycos actually have 16 inch guns and they only have two more than that class that we, the rune, the rune class. Much better armor. Yeah, I mean, I like it a lot better. It's just, it's a much better ship, but still, I do want to see these new Tycos in, in action with their new top mounted torpedoes. I like it. So anyways, let's call this video to a close and I'll catch you back for the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.